What's up? It's Paul from Guitar World, and as you may be aware or not, Summer NAMM has been canceled. But that doesn't mean there's any shortage of new products and launches. So, because you can't be there, we're going to bring all that stuff to you. So let's dig in and check it out. Before we get started, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Blue Mics for providing this Yeti X microphone, the boom stand, all of this to make me sound incredible on my end. So I'm joined here by Davi Day from IK Multimedia. And today we're going to be talking about the Axio Solo, which is a brand new premium audio interface, which is different from the Axio, which you introduced earlier. Am I correct here? Right. Thank you, Paul. Um, yes, the Axio Solo is, uh, uh, in synthesis, a smaller version of the Axio uh, because instead of having two multipurpose channels, input channels, as we add on the on the Axio, we have uh, uh, two input channels, but uh, um, dedicated to the kind of uh, source that you want to connect. So channel one is uh, especially dedicated to instruments and you cannot connect the microphone to channel one and vice versa channel two uh, is for microphones and line inputs the xio solo is sharing the same type of topology instrument preamplifier that is so particular and so uh, important on the on the xio and and so you are still able to uh, have your input preamp channel to perfectly adapt to your instrument because you have selections uh, that you, you normally don't find on the instrument inputs of uh, regular audio interfaces, as for example, selection for passive or active pickups. And uh, once you are on uh, passive mode, and so the additional preamp is engaged, uh, you can select between a pure signal path or a JFET signal path that allows for a slightly warmer and uh, richer tones because of a slightly added uh, harmonic distortion content. We still have here the Z-tone control, which is uh, making a big difference on the XIO, of course. It's the, it's the main thing. And uh, also on the output side, uh, the interface is still, even if it's a smaller one, it's still super convenient for guitar players because you have this convenient amp out that you can use to reamp your DI signal, uh, feeding it through uh, real stomp boxes and real amplifiers, of course. It's an isolated and floating output, so you don't have any risk of ground loops and hum noises that you typically have if you try to connect an amp to an, a, 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 an audio interface output um, on regular outputs. I mean, the interface is completely bus powered, so uh, unlike the XIO, the bigger one that you need to power with uh, the dedicated power supply unit. This one is bus powered and uh, it's really packing a lot of impressive features for being a bus powered interface, like a 117 dB dynamic range on the instrument input and 113 dB uh, dynamic range for the line outputs. These are specs that are normally not found on bus powered interface. So uh, to me, like when everything you've been saying, this particular audio interface that you've introduced is just tailor-made for guitar players with the Z-tone uh, control really being the heart of the whole unit. Being, so basically it's almost, you're able to enhance your guitar signal depending on your pickups uh, of your guitar, correct? That's correct. Uh, what the Z-tone is doing uh, is actually a pretty unique control. With this knob here, when you rotate it, what you are doing is actually uh, loading the pickups of the guitar with a variable impedance. Uh, this sounds a bit complicated, but in practice, what it means is that when you are using passive pickups, because if you use active pickups, it doesn't make any, any effect on the sound because they are buffering. But when you use passive pickups, Basically, uh, loading it with a variable impedance means changing the tone. Um, and so 
opening the possibility for exploration of a big tonal palette from your instrument. And it means changing the tone of the instrument at the source, where the sound is uh, picked up from the strings, so in the pickups. Uh, the pickups will react differently depending on the type they are made. So if they are single coil, if they are backing units, uh, depending on the impedance they have, the style of the of the construction of the of the pickup. So for example, if you connect a strat and uh, you start lowering the impedance, you will hear the tone getting bolder and bolder as soon as you go lower with the impedance. Um, in a way that will be different um, from guitar to guitar. So uh, the nice thing of this uh, of this control is that uh, unlike uh, uh, what you will get with an equalizer, uh, the effect will be different depending on the instrument. And this is very, very interesting. Also on basses, for example, if you just connect a bass, and you start lowering the impedance from one meg, uh, say to, for example, 50K, then the bass will sound uh, bigger as if it was already amped. So um, it's really a tool for exploring uh, new sounds from your instruments. That's great. The one thing um, I find particularly attractive about the Axio Solo is the fact that you guys uh, bundled it with a with, just an, with a massive amount of software. So it's it pretty much is uh, you can get up and go and start recording because of all the different types of software that you are offering with it. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes. First of all, being an interface dedicated to the guitar, uh, of course, we are offering Amplitude and we are offering a big package of uh, Amplitude gear, uh, which is Amplitude 4 Deluxe that includes 140 uh, pieces of gear mm, between stomps, amplifiers, cabinets, uh, rack effects. Uh, and so you really have a huge arsenal of tonal possibilities from Amplitude. Then uh, we include 10 uh, of the best sounding and most popular T-Rex uh, mastering and mixing, uh, or I should say mixing and mastering processors. Um, and uh, we also are including Ableton, uh, Ableton Live. Uh, light, which is a package that is super comprehensive and uh, allows for starting really laying down songs in, in minutes. Uh, so offering a complete solution for the guitar player. Also considering the interface as a quite uh, uh, high spec mic preamp built in, you can record of course microphones being them dynamic or condensers. So you can lay down vocals, acoustic guitars, everything. Um, and within the Ableton Live, though, you can really complete the song with the addition of the T-Rex plugins. Yeah, I just I think that's really amazing. The one thing that just caught my <clears throat> my eye, of course, of course, was the massive software bundle, and paired along with the with the incredibly affordable price of the unit. So you really get the most bang for your buck here. And it's an all-in-one solution for the guitar player who may be sort of a new to recording or using an audio interface. And this seems to be the, the perfect solution for that. Yes, yes, uh, we think so. Also because in, within the package, you are having a lot of software and especially what, what you are getting is a, a dedicated interface for the guitar. So mm -hmm. an interface that can solve problems that typically the guitar player is going to have with regular audio interfaces. For example, another aspect that uh, uh, seems to be marginal, but it's really unique, is that the interface on the back has two inputs for foot switches or continuous pedals controllers. Uh, mm. If you don't have this, you cannot record the wah part, for example. So, uh, and this is normally not included in uh, in, in audio interfaces, let's call them general purpose audio interfaces. Yeah, you've made it extremely uh, versatile and uh, and flexible for guitar players, you know, because guitar players love outboard gear, and here you have that opportunity to use that. You can really do some great stuff as far as reamping. Can you tell me just a little bit more about that? Ah, uh, yes. For example, you can integrate an analog pedal board 
made of uh, vintage stone boxes to the uh, amp side in amplitude because eventually you are especially liking the way a particular vintage pedal interacts with the pickups of the guitar and so you prefer using it in hardware uh, so you can very easily record the di track in your DAW, Ableton Live in this, this case um, and then you go out to the stomp box from the amp out of the interface mm -hmm. and then you go back to the DAW uh, in amplitude, straight in amplitude. This is an example. Or another very cool thing that can be done is using guitar uh, processors like vintage stomps, uh, not for guitars, for example, to process vocals or to process uh, drums, drum loops. It's very, very interesting and uh, it's not super easy to connect, uh, let's, let's say, for example, a fast phase to an audio interface with regular input and outputs because the impedance will not match, the levels will be too high. If the stomps are powered with, with a main PSU unit, you will probably have a ground loop problem. So uh, we, try, we try to solve everything with one single stop solution uh, with this interface. Yeah, I think that you've done that here and um... I'm, I'm really impressed by the by this unit. So, and of course, all that you've done, um, all of you included in in this Axio solo, sounds great to me. So, thank you again, Davide, for for be, for showing up here and letting us know more about this. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for the opportunity of talking about the interface, and uh, we are sure that people will uh, will love it. I think so too. So. Definitely, I will say definitely check this one out and I'll look for more stuff from, coming from you guys because you guys do great, do great work out there. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. And uh, let's hope that the music industry will uh, start very soon at its full potential because that is what we want in the end. <laughs> yeah, I hope it bounces back, right? I think we need to hear more music and more creativity. It's, it's hard to being holed up here, but if I'm going to be holed up, I think it'll be the Axio solo to keep me company. Yeah, I hope so, yes, yes. Yeah.